Lesson 27. Celebrations. Hello. Today we are going to learn some new vocabulary and we will also review the present continuous tense. We will also review the simple past tense and sequence adverbs. Finally, we will learn the past continuous tense and time clauses. So let's learn some new vocabulary. Please follow along and listen as I tell the story. When a man loves a woman very much, he proposes to her. He asks her to marry him. If she accepts, he is very happy. If she says no, he is angry or sad. If she accepts, the man usually gives the woman a diamond ring. Now they are engaged. The woman is the man's fiance. The man is the woman's fiance. They send out wedding invitations to friends and family. A wedding is a celebration in which two people get married. The ceremony is usually at a church or perhaps a synagogue. The man is called the groom. He wears a tuxedo. The woman is called the bride. She wears a bridal gown. The man who is with the groom is called the best man. The woman who is with the bride is called the maid of honor. After the wedding ceremony, there is a big party. This is called the wedding reception. There is a big meal. There is a band. People dance and have fun. After the reception, the couple, bride and groom, go on a honeymoon. Often, they go to a place with a beach so they can relax and be romantic. Sometimes, people who want to marry don't have a wedding. Maybe their parents don't want them to get married. These people elope. A man may use a ladder to take the girl from her house. A birthday party is great fun for children and adults. Sometimes the party can be a big surprise. The birth birthday boy or girl gets lots of gifts. The birthday boy or girl blows out the candles on the cake. Sometimes people wear party hats and there are balloons everywhere. Present continuous tense. Now let's begin with a quick review of the present continuous. Present continuous tense. Remembers describes actions that are in progress, happening now. Let's look at some examples. The child is blowing out the candles. The groom is talking to his best man. Oliver is buying a gold necklace for his wife for their anniversary. They are going to the store to buy wine for the New Year's Day party. So we use the present continuous tense to talk about an action that is happening now. The present continuous is also called the present progressive. So it means exactly the same. Okay, now the form for the present continuous is is or are plus your verb plus you add ing to your verb. So is or are plus your verb plus ing. We can also use the present continuous in negative form. Let's look at some examples. The child isn't blowing out the candles. The groom isn't talking to the best man. Oliver isn't buying a gold necklace for his wife for their anniversary. They aren't going to the store to buy wine for their anniversary. Okay, let's practice now. What is your mother doing today, Alberto? She is shopping for a gift for my aunt. We are having a surprise party for her. No, oh, I'm sure it will be a very good party. 
Sylvia, what is your father doing today? He's looking for a new car. He wants to give his old car to my brother for his first anniversary party. Oh, I'm sure he will like it. And Linda, what is your sister doing today? My sister is getting married next week. She's trying on wedding gowns. She, uh, she's going to be very beautiful. Yes, I'm sure she is. And her fiancé? Um, he isn't working today, so he's trying to find tuxedos for him and his best man. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Now remember, there are some verbs that are not usually used in the present continuous form. These are called stative or non-action verbs. Some examples are to hear, to see, to like, to love, to hate, to prefer, and to know. There are many other non-action verbs. Let's practice again. Linda, what am I wearing? Um, you are wearing a beautiful shirt. Why? Oh, I'm going to an anniversary party tonight. Alberto, do you like cake and pie? Which do you prefer? Mm, I prefer cake at a birthday party. I prefer pie um, at a wedding reception. Oh, okay. Well, now I know and understand that it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. First, Ken argued with Betty's father. Second, he went to the hardware store. Next, he bought a ladder. After that, he took the ladder to Betty's house. Finally, he carried his girl down the ladder and they eloped. Read and repeat. Simple past tense. Now, let's quickly review simple past. Okay, let's look at some examples. Nancy received a toaster for a wedding gift. I walked to the reception. Rick married Joan last Tuesday. The groom and bride danced for hours. So the simple past is used to talk about activities or situations that began and ended in the past. Frequently, expressions such as yesterday, last, or ago are used in these sentences. Some verbs have irregular forms in the simple past. For example, the bride wore a pink wedding gown. We drank too much at the reception. The children weren't naughty at the birthday party. Rita brought three bottles of whiskey for the New Year's party. Gary had a headache after his anniversary celebration. Now let's review the simple past tense. This should be easy for you. Can we try a role play? Of course. What do you want to do? Well, Sylvia and I love to gossip. We are at our wedding reception. And, and it is almost finished. Uh, Alberto is a single handsome man. He is at the party too. Okay. What a very nice compliment, Alberto. Okay, that's good. Let's start. This is a wonderful reception, Sylvia. The dinner was great. The band played very well. I agree. The bride wore a beautiful gown and the groom was very handsome. I ate too much. I loved the wedding cake. 
It was delicious. Who is that man near the door? Um, his name is Alberto. He was the best man. He wore a tuxedo. He's very handsome. I didn't see him at the reception. He sat at the front table. He smoked a big cigar with the groom too. Let's talk with him. Okay. Hello, my name is Sylvia and this is my friend Linda. Mm. Hi, my name is Alberto. Are you here with a friend? Mm. My friend left. He had to go to work. Are you the bride's brother? Yes, I am. Our other brother did, couldn't come. He was ill. I am sad. The party is over. I want to dance some more. You danced a lot. You sang a lot. Mm, I know. There is a cafe near here where you can dance. Do you want to come with me, Sylvia? Yes, I want to come. Linda, you can come and drink tea. Alberto and I can dance. Okay. Oh, that was wonderful. Bravo. And I think Alberto and Sylvia make a very nice couple. Okay, now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The New Year's Eve party started at 11 p.m. Harry rode his motorcycle to the reception. Newt asked Lucia to marry him at the cafe. Mick wanted a chocolate cake for his birthday party. Read and repeat. Past continuous tense. Now let's learn the past continuous. Past continuous tense. Actions happening continuously but in the past. Let's look at some examples. Jane was drinking a glass of wine at the reception. The children were singing at the birthday party. The angry bridesmaid was shouting at the wedding. Jack and Jillian were dancing at the New Year's party. Okay, so the past continuous, or we can say past progressive tense, is used to express an activity that was happening at a point of time in the past. The form of the past continuous is was or were plus your simple verb form plus you add ing. So was or were, excuse me, was or were plus your simple verb plus ing. Okay, the negative form, of course, would be wasn't or weren't plus your verb plus again ing. So the negative form is wasn't or weren't plus your simple verb plus ing. Okay, let's look at some more examples. Jane wasn't drinking a glass of wine at the reception. The children weren't singing at the birthday party. The angry bridesmaid wasn't shouting at the party. Jack and Jillian weren't dancing at the party. Okay, now let's practice the past continuous. Sylvia, what were you doing at your brother's wedding? I was eating lots of food. Oh, okay. Alberto, what were you doing at your cousin's wedding? Mm, I was drinking wine. Mm, I was talking with friends. Mm, my cousin from Naples was there too. Uh, I was visiting with her. She is my favorite cousin. Oh, okay, I'm glad you had a good time. Linda, what were you and your sister listening to at the New Year's Eve party? We were li listening to rock and roll. 
Uh, we were dancing with handsome boys. We had a wonderful time. Oh, that's great. What were you doing on Saturday, Alberto? Mm, I was helping my friend buy a birthday present. They are having a, a surprise party for her mother. Okay, good. Linda, what were you and your mother doing? Uh, we were looking for a restaurant for the reception. Uh, my co cousin is having a big wedding. Very good. Sylvia, what were you doing on Saturday? I was helping my friend with his homework. He had an anniversary party to go to. All right, wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Henry was cooking the food for the wedding reception. My father was searching for a new computer for my brother's birthday. The girls were dancing at the reception. The family was preparing for the anniversary party. Read and repeat. Time clauses. Now let's finish our lesson with time clauses. Before we begin, let's review what a time clause is. A clause is a group of words that have a subject and a verb. It is usually only part of a sentence. A time clause begins with words such as when, while, before, and after. So when, while, before, and after. In a sentence with a time clause, there is usually a main clause too. Many different tenses can be used in sentences with time clauses. We will look at two types of these sentences. The first is sentences where each clause has a verb in the simple past. For example, when he finished his cake, he left the reception. After the bride cried, the groom asked her to dance. It started to rain when the birthday party began. Now let's look at these sentences more closely. When he finished his cake, he left the reception. When he finished his cake is the time clause, or dependent clause, we can say. He left the reception is the main clause. It can stand by itself. Next example. After the bride cried, the groom asked her to dance. After the bride cried is the dependent clause, or the time clause. It's dependent on the main clause, which is, the groom asked her to dance. It's the main clause because it can stand on its own. Next example. It started to rain when the birthday party began. It started to rain is the main clause. When the birthday party began is the time clause. So if a sentence begins with a time clause, there must be a comma between the time clause and the main clause. For example, if we say, after the bride cried, we must have a comma after the time clause before we add the main clause. The groom asked her to dance. So after the bride cried, comma, the groom asked her to dance. All right, now let's practice time clauses. What did you do after your cousin's wedding reception, Alberto? Mm, I went home after my cousin's wedding reception. Mm, I was very tired. Okay. Sylvia, what did you do before your brother's wedding? 
Before he had his wedding, I helped him choose a place for their honeymoon. They went to the Bahamas. That was a good choice. Alberto, what did you do when you learned your parents were having a surprise birthday party for you? When I learned that, I started to cry because it was uh, my first surprise birthday party. I was very happy. Oh, yes, that was very nice. All right, good job, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Judy cried when her boyfriend proposed. The parents were angry when their daughter eloped. Before the anniversary party started, the couple took many photos. We had a big mess to clean after the New Year's party finished. Read and repeat. We can also use the past continuous in time clauses. Let's have a look at some examples. While the groom was dancing, the bride was smoking a cigarette. When the child arrived, his friends were wrapping his birthday present. After the anniversary party finished, the couple was arguing in the kitchen. The singer cried while she was singing the wedding march. In these sentences, the simple past and the past continuous are used. While means the same as, at the same time as. The past continuous must be used in a time clause introduced by while. The verb in the main clause can be simple past or past continuous. Let's look again at those sentences. While the groom was dancing, the bride was smoking a cigarette. While the groom was dancing is a time clause in the past continuous. The bride was smoking a cigarette is the main clause in the past continuous. Next example. The singer cried while she was singing the wedding march. The singer cried, main clause is in the simple past. While she was singing the wedding march, the time clause is in the past continuous. So usually, the past continuous is action that is continuing, and the simple past is an action that happens in the middle of it, it kind of interrupts it. For example, I was sleeping when you called me. Sleeping is something that we do for some time. I was sleeping and all of a sudden my sleep was interrupted because someone called me. Okay, let's use the past continuous in time clauses. Linda, what do you think your father was doing when he proposed to your mother? First, I think he was kneeling when he proposed to my mother. Uh, and second, my mother cried while he was proposing to her. I'm sure of that. Okay, very good. Alberto, what was your sister doing when you opened the door to your surprise birthday party? She was screaming, happy birthday, uh, when I opened the door to my party. Okay, I'm sure you had a great time. Sylvia, what were you doing before Alberto's party? I was studying at home before his party. I wasn't invited. I just met Alberto. Oh, that's too bad. I will invite you to my next party. Okay, good idea. Very good, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. 
played while the couples were dancing at the reception. When the music stopped, everyone was singing. After the man bought the diamond ring, he was thinking it was too expensive. While Tom was buying the engagement ring, his girlfriend was eating lunch. Read and repeat. Review. Now let's do an exercise using time clauses. Fill in the blanks with when, before, after, or while. Okay? Okay. All right, Alberto, the first one's for you. Mm hmm. The wedding, reception, finish, comma, there's your clue. The couple went on their honeymoon. What do you think, Alberto? That's easy. After the wedding, reception finished, the couple went on their honeymoon. Very good. After the wedding, reception finished, the couple went on their honeymoon. Good. Next example, the best man was drinking. Mm -hmm. The bride asked him to dance. Isn't he supposed to ask the bride to dance? Sylvia, what do you think? The best man was drinking when the bride asked him to dance. Very good. The best man was drinking when the bride asked him to dance. Okay, another example. The shop owner was talking to another customer. Mm -hmm. Dan was looking at an engagement ring in his store. This one's for you, Linda. Okay. <clears throat> the shop owner was talking to another customer while Dan was looking at an engagement ring in his store. Very good. The shop owner was talking to another customer while Dan was looking at an engagement ring in his store. All right. Very good. Let's do one more exercise with time clauses. I'm going to give you each a sentence, and you can correct it or tell me it's correct. Okay? Okay. 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 Linda, this one is for you. While I ate at the reception, the bride was dancing. Um, that's wrong. While I was eating at the reception, the bride was dancing. Yes, very good. We usually use the continuous tense with while. All right, Sylvia, this one's for you. When the child opened his birthday present, he was surprised to find a new football. You must use comma after the time clause. So, when the child opened his birthday present, comma, he was surprised to find a new football. Very good. Alberto, you do the last one. Jack wasn't surprised when Alice accepted the engagement ring. I think that's a good sentence. Okay, I think you're a good student. You're right. Thank you all. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Listen and write the sentences. We aren't going to the wedding before one o'clock. Gregory is cooking for the reception. 
First, Walt will have a drink. Then, Walt will dance with the bride. Finally, Walt will dance with the bride's mother. The child ate three pieces of cake from his brother's birthday party. When John arrived, the anniversary party began. We went to a film after the reception finished. Before Hal proposed, he had to have some whiskey. While Mary was writing a list of invitations, Kyle was looking for a good place for their honeymoon. Now, check your work. We aren't going to the wedding before one o'clock. Gregory is cooking for the reception. First, Walt will have a drink. Then, Walt will dance with the bride. Finally, Walt will dance with the bride's mother. The child ate three pieces of cake from his brother's birthday party. When John arrived, the anniversary party began. We went to a film after the reception finished. Before Hal proposed, he had to have some whiskey. While Mary was writing a list of invitations, Kyle was looking for a good place for their honeymoon. Now let's read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. There was a big wedding at the church yesterday. Dave and Dale got married. Dave is a carpenter. Dale is a nurse. Before she was a nurse, she worked in a clinic. The wedding was beautiful. There were 250 people at the church. After the ceremony finished, the couple greeted everyone outside. While the guests drove to the reception, Dave and Dale were riding in a limousine. Dale had many things to worry about. First, she thought the reception hall was too small. Second, she thought the guests wouldn't like the band. Fortunately, there were no problems. The reception was great. The chef served roast beef and chicken. While everyone was singing, Dave and Dale danced. When the band stopped, the couple cut the wedding cake. They got many beautiful wedding gifts. They even got three microwave ovens. The best thing for Dave was their honeymoon. They went to Alaska to fish. Now answer the questions. Where did Dave and Dale get married? Where did Dale work before she was a nurse? How many people were at the church? What did the couple do after the ceremony finished? How did Dave and Dale get to their reception? What did Dale worry about? What did the chef serve at the reception? What did the couple do when the music stopped? How many microwave ovens did they receive? Where did they go on their honeymoon? Now check your answers. Where did Dave and Dale get married? They got married in a church. Where did Dale work before she was a nurse? She worked in a clinic. How many people were at the church? There were 250 people at the church. What did the couple do after the ceremony finished? They greeted everyone outside. How did Dave and Dale get to their reception? They rode in a limousine. What did Dale worry about? She worried that the reception hall was too small and the guests wouldn't like the band. 
What did the chef serve at the reception? He served roast beef and chicken. What did the couple do when the music stopped? They cut the wedding cake. How many microwave ovens did they receive? They received three microwave ovens. Where did they go on their honeymoon? They went to Alaska. All right, good. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Practicing English. Hi, Alexi. I have missed you. What are you doing? Well, I missed you too, but I'm having fun in New York. You know that I was homesick. I have visited my family, and you know my cousin is getting married next week. The last few days have been very busy. So, what do you mean? Well, for example, yesterday we had a wedding shower for her. What's that? Well, it's a party where friends and family of the bride, the woman who is getting married, get together and give her gifts and eat. It's for women. Okay. So what else have you been doing? Well, a little bit of everything: buying gifts, helping with the florist, getting dresses fitted for the other bridesmaid. It's all been very busy. Uh, I don't understand all this stuff. In Greece, our customs are different. What happens when people get married in America? Well, first the couple gets engaged. That is, a man proposes marriage to the woman, and depending on her answer, the whole process starts. The process? Yes. Next, the couple who is getting married have to think about where they are getting married and how many people to invite. Okay, so they agree to get married, and then they start the wedding plans with a place to get married, and who will be invited? Yes. What's next? Well, next the couple has to make arrangements with a place that will serve food, and provide music for the reception. The reception? That's the party after the wedding ceremony, isn't it? Yes, it is. Then, after they decide on a place for the reception and the food, they must send out invitations, so they know who will be coming and how many people will be at the reception. Go on. Well, after that, depending on how religious the couple is, they will have to make arrangements with their church, or synagogue, or temple, and have their ceremony there on a specific date. Okay. So the reception part and the church, plus the people invited, are all handled. Then what? After all that is done, the florist, the dresses, the groomsmen and bridesmaid all have to be chosen. The traveling is arranged, and hotels are sometimes needed. This all sounds a bit complicated. There are a lot of details. Yes, as I have learned. There are a million details. Finally, after all the millions of details are handled, the bride and groom can get married and live happily ever after. Well, you've made it sound very easy. I'm sure that someday this information will be very helpful when you plan your own wedding. Well, I have to say, I've really learned a lot during this whole thing. It takes a lot of patience to plan one of these events. Well, do you want to know what you've been missing? Of course. What have you guys been up to without me? Yesterday was very interesting. Why? What did you do? Well, Jack, Sam, and I had our own little adventure. We went down to the beach at Angel's Island and spent the day meeting girls and getting some sun. Oh, I love it out there. Oh, there's more. Two days ago, we went to the premiere at the AFM Theater that one of Jack's friends had. He works for a TV network. You will never guess who was there. Who? 
Who did you meet without me? We saw Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston, Orlando Bloom, and Eric Bana. There was a premiere of Troy, and we watched Troy with them. You're joking. No! It was amazing. Jack's friend is a TV network executive at NBC, and he knows all these famous people. Stop. I don't want to know anymore. You guys have been having way too much fun without me. It's not fair. Well, we've missed seeing you. Bye. Bye.